So today I'm going to explain how to install this Groundhog Max ATV disc plow if you have a Polaris. Uh, this quarter inch uh, tow hitch right here is kind of weak so they recommend not using this to hook up the plow. So they give you this 21 inch, 21 inch extender and it can be a little tricky to put it together but I can show you guys how to do it real quick. So, a couple of things that don't come with the kit is these two hose clamps right here that I have and then a quarter inch bolt that is up here that goes to this quarter inch hole up here. So basically there's another nine inch extension right here that I use and I used a quarter inch bolt up into the frame right here and bolted it down. That holds this nine inch adapter right here. And then you slide the 21 inch piece using these pieces that come with the kit you put them on here loosely you slide this piece in over the nine inch and then these hose clamps you put on this this four holes right here you just feed them through the holes feed them through the holes slide it tighten it back up and it holds it up against it and then you will tighten these down last and then you hook up this t into here and then your plow will go here, and that's how you use it if you have a Polaris ATV. I just wanted to explain that because it can be a little difficult. And this this piece that comes on the four-wheeler already is kind of kind of weak. So don't forget the hose clamp and the quarter-inch bolt. They do not come with the the kit, so you're gonna have to buy that separately. I think I got it for like six bucks overall. So once I tighten the, these down all the way. I can go ahead and put this on and put my plow and my disc plow on and start tilling. Go ahead. There you go. It has like a U shape right here. The U part of it that goes in and then out. It goes towards your four-wheeler when it comes out and meets right here. That goes away from the four-wheeler. Make sure you have it like that. The next step is just to put this pin in and put your cotter pin in here. Drive it off the blocks and you're good to go. I want to explain how that thing works. It's not motor driven, it's not anything mechanical power driven or anything like that. It is driven off your four wheeler and the weight of the four wheeler is what's pushing it down into the ground. And that's what's causing it to till up to your, to your ground. So that's how you install the Groundhog Max on your ATV. Um, so we just tested it out right here, but it works better once you kill off all your weeds and your grass, and then you can use it again. To, uh, we're going to do a review on it when I start tilling over this food plot over here. Um, stay tuned for that so you can see how it works better when there's just dirt. All right.